Doctor, can you tell us your name and a little bit about your background? Okay, hello. Uh, I'm Dr. Tosak Tiperot. Yeah, actually I'm a Thai physician. I'm graduated from, from Tsinghua University in Thailand. I have a train as an orthopedic surgeon. Yeah, I have been practicing orthopedic surgery for maybe 15 years. But for the last uh, two, three years, I have uh, moved my field to the functional medicine practice. Yeah, I have continued my further study on, on the functional medicine area. And now I'm working in the in, in, uh, period also in trial integrative wellness unit uh, for the, this functional medicine field. Okay, I understand functional medicine is a combination of modern medicine and what we used to call alternative medicine. Is that yeah, correct? More or less it's something like a bridge between both sides, you know. Uh, we're working uh, on uh, trying to combine both Science. Yeah, we did, didn't say who's right, who's wrong, but what we, we are focusing more is we try to help the people. We focus more on the result, not on the method itself, right? Very good. Very patient-centered. Yeah, you can say so. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand that you now you include stem cell treatments in your treatment offering. Can you tell us a little bit about the type of stem cell therapies you offer here? Yeah, actually, for the stem cell treatment, it's a new option here. Uh, we uh, are on the learning uh, stage of the stem cell treatment also. What we are doing now is we are collaborate with a Chinese company, the biggest uh, stem cell provider in the world, I would say, the Quaker Biotech. Uh, we are using the umbilical cord, but stem cell, to treat the, mostly the neurological disease here. We are starting maybe almost one year now in period hospital. I see. And it's umbilical stem cord cells. So this, is, this doesn't involve embryos. It doesn't involve killing anything. This is cord blood stem. That's yes, exactly. Uh, this is the, 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 the stem cell that we uh, derived from the cord blood. You know. So normally that thing was already discarded by, by the, the regular practice. But, but, but in, in uh, the China experience, the uh, culture, they extract the stem cell and they try to use it in, in the clinical practice. I see. And what types of conditions, in your experience, respond best to this type of treatment? Uh, actually, what we are doing, we follow what the Chinese doctors uh, advise us to do. You know, uh, We are focusing more on the neurological disease, like I say. Uh, so far, we have some experience on treating the people with MS, yeah. ARS, uh, optic nerve neurohypoplasia, a stroke, uh, spinal cord injury, and some cerebral palsy kids also. Okay, so you, you treat children and, and patients up to what age? Uh, the youngest one that we have experienced is eight months, you know. The oldest one may be oh, 70 something, you know. So, so it's wide range of, of group, age group. When a person receives the stem cell treatment, how soon after the treatment might they experience some benefits? All right. So, so far, uh, as our experience have, normally they have to spend time with us at least one month to complete all the, the treatment program. At the end of month, uh, most of them report some subjective change in terms of the level of energy the pain level, you know, but objectively, we didn't see much change on that side. Normally, we advise people to wait at least three months to see some subjective uh, results. Okay, so I understand that subjectively, people might experience some, some improvements within the first month, right. but the benefits are likely to continue after that time, is that correct? Yeah, sure. Sure, and, 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 and to, to see some objective improvement, normally we, we advise them to wait at least three months after the treatment. You know. And we, we uh, uh, actually we, we have some people that, that report back to us when they uh, did the follow up with, with their, their uh, regular physicians and they do some kind of like, like a nerve conduction velocity and, and re report the, the improvement on that part. Also. Okay. So when you're treating neurological conditions, the the standard neurological test, we would expect to see some improvement, maybe three months out. Yeah. I understand here at this facility you treated quite a few patients, but you're also part of a group that's treated 
understand many thousands of patients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the from the vehicle companies in China, they have provided this treatment for almost five or six years already. So far, they have accumulated the, the experience up to five thousand cases already. And here at here at KOA, you've been doing this treatment since when? Uh, since last December. Last year, December is almost one one year, huh? Almost okay. one year already. So uh, our experience now is up to fifty cases now. And for the, this particular type of stem cell treatment, the the patient would receive, in addition to the stem cell treatment, also some acupuncture. And yeah. Some physical rehabilitation. Is that yeah, correct? exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, we follow the the Chinese protocol. So they advise us to, to combine the, the uh, acupuncture and the intense rehabilitation program uh, into the, 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 the treatment program also. That's what we follow what, what they're doing there. Very good. So this, this is the marriage between uh, the most modern of medicine and a little bit of ancient medicine. Yeah, correct. <laughs> That's Very correct. Good. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Torsak. I appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome.